As you can see, it's a very beautiful day out. Been spending lots of time outside. I'm sure you're going to hear some background noise in this video. It's just the way it is because we're just in the backyard here. What we're going to do today is uh, pick some more chives. We use a lot in our meals. So it's economical just to cut and dry them at home. You can hear lots of birds here and see lots of dandelions. I've already picked some. I'm going to do the first and try to make some dandelion wine, see how that turns out. So other than that, we should get to the project. And I'm sure occasionally also you're going to hear some dog barking in the background. So here we have in the background some chives. They're kind of scattered around because what happened over the winter is these weren't in any particular garden and when the driveway gets plowed, some of the seeds uprooted, so. So we're inside now and just want to give you a bird's eye view of why I like it here. You can see from one of my windows, I have three like this, you can see quite a ways over into the meadows. Lots of wildlife usually comes out. It's sort of a bird's eye view with my bird feeder there. Um, sorry about the background. I like to multitask so I got a laundry going. So we're now we're inside and we're going to chop up those chives and get them ready for drying. So I was just waiting for the washer to fin up. Second time I've done that, so I'm just going to keep going. Finish on the spin cycle. So it's rather loud. I like to multitask when I'm doing things. Anyway, I wanted to show you, uh, yes, a couple of days ago, this time goes by so fast when you're doing things. I cut these chives right from the bottom right to the top and used the whole thing. I hung them to dry and put them, tried the microwave method as well. They still have a ways to go, but what I didn't like is they're just too thin at the top when, when I took the whole plant for me. So I'm going to, they're still good. I'm going to let them dry and just weed out the smaller parts. But as you can see with these ones, I didn't take it right to the top. I've trimmed some of them off and they're they're a lot more hollow and that's the way I like them and they're going to dry better. So we're going to chop those up and get them ready for drying. As you can see in the meantime it's really hot out like for us it's 24 and it's been like that for a week and I'm going to continue so I poured myself a cold glass of ginger apple cider and it came from the valley down from the gardens. So we're going to get to chopping that and get it all ready for you. don't have the fanciest kitchen here, but it will do. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to line up some of these stalks for chopping off. And if I see anything that's, you know, doesn't look like it's going to work or maybe a piece of hay that I missed, I tend to take off these little shoots here because they're too thin, but there's a nice thick piece there. Um, this is a knife I like to use. It's uh, good enough for the job. It's one that I got with a set from Walmart. And I'm not a chef, so my cutting is technique it will not be quite as fancy. I just gotta go through and cut them in fairly equal portions if I can. And if I see that it's not to the point where I like the hollowness of the plan, I'll just stop cutting. And so far it's a lot better than the day before. You can see already the difference. So these are going to make really nice dry chives. So that's basically how you do it. Easy and simple, and again, I don't think I'm going to use these little tiny pieces because we've seen what happened with them before. So I'm going to continue until it's done, 
and then I'll show you the finished product. Much more pleased with the results of these ones as we go. As you can see, they're coming out better. Now and then I get a little glitch, but much more impressed with the results than yesterday.